I murdered my best friend. She was deadly anyway. Deadly to any living being with a voice and a cause. She was the residue of my fears and source of my shame. Feeding my insecurities while suffocating my consciousness. Seductively twisting her fingers around my lips, locking up any amount of truth that could force its way through, you know. She was selfish like that. Only wanting the truth for herself. Believing her ideology that no one would care to hear anything I would have to say for years. I gave up speaking, sacrificing my most prized possession. How ironic, silence. The complete absence of sound, yet I listened to her loud and clear. She was loyal to my secrets, yet no amount of words could satisfy her gluttony. No amount of sense could pay back the very words that she stole from me. Left voiceless in the presence of my reality, she was the uninvited friend in the room who walked boldly since she always had me to excuse her presence was once my friend has now become my greatest foe. I grew tired. I grew tired of justifying her existence, excusing her character, longing for the frequency of my voice to rise again like a phoenix from the ashes, yet fear gripped my throat as it revealed the layers of my pride embedded in my spirit. So I'm ready to accept defeat, a battle too great for me to win alone, yet prayers of a concerned community, touch the ears of God, compelling a cosmic cascade to reclaim those words that were clutched to silence's core, corroding the very thing that kept her alive, giving birth to her destruction, killing silence, reestablishing the voice that once spoke life, my words regained its confidence as its vibrations pressures through my lips and now speaks proudly to the sound of a heavenly drum. I will no longer I will no longer let silence wrap herself around my indecisions. Instead, I will speak every day as if there is a microphone tucked under my tongue because who needs a platform where all you ever needed is a voice? So here lies silence. A friend turned foe, a lover of words, a nooser of lips, a silencer of lambs. Well, she succumbed to her own sheltered suppression. What once brought her to life was now the death of her. May she forever unrest in peace. I want to say thank you and to let you know that you cannot do this life alone. You need community. And even in the times I didn't believe myself, the font community, my circle, my friends, my peers, they were there to encourage me and continue to pray for me. So even in the times that you don't believe in yourself, just know that you have a community who continuously sees the things that you can't even see in you. So I'm grateful and I thank you.